Right, afternoon. In the Lake District this week. Aren't we done? And current lake, we are at Pooley Bridge. And we've parked at Sun Inn, which is just there. And we do it all's water way. We're doing it anti-clockwise. We're an overnight camp at uh, Allen Fell if all goes to plan. But we've already eaten his first hurdle. <laughs> As you can see, we're doing something with the uh, bridge of a poorly bridge of a river. And it's all shut off, which is the route we need to be taking. So we're walking down here and we're looking at on map. We're hoping, fingers crossed, there's a little bridge over down here. Because if they're in, I don't know what we're doing. Shuttle bus. Nah, some sort of shuttle bus or something, but wherever that takes us to, I ain't got a clue. It's looking good for the next few days. We're here for three days, two nights. As I said, we're doing all's water way, camping on Allen Fell, and back to Pooley Bridge tomorrow at whatever time we get here. And then tomorrow night, we're camping on Steel, Fe Steel Fell. AKA steel, steel steel knots. Cheers Dan. Steel knot. AKA Pikawasa. And that will be my 100th Wainwright. Because there's four Wainwrights round Hull's Water, Allenfell, Gowbarra, and Arthur's Pike and Bonscale Pike. So I'm at 95, that'll take me to 99. And I'll be welcoming my 100th Wainwright tomorrow night on Steel Fell. Still not. Still not. I'll get it in then. I'll get it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm hoping we can get over this little bridge here, if it's a bridge. Because if it's not like I say, I don't know what we're going to do. We might have to rethink the route. We might have to do it clockwise. Uh, weather's looking good. Three days of decent weather. No wind this week. Make a nice change. So let's get this on. Right, so yeah, not such a good start. Unexpected this. We thought we were going to get across, it's a weir and we can't get across. So we are walking nearly a mile in that direction and then a mile back this direction to get to where we need to start the walk. We're adding two miles onto the walk, God knows how much time. So we're heading back into Pooley Bridge Village. All fun and games. Right then, we're now on plan C. So it goes back to the bridge, waiting for the shuttle bus. They come in, zoom straight past us on his lunch break. So that was quarter past one. They weren't going to come back while quarter to two, so we'd have had to wait half hour. And then we found out of somebody that it was an half hour journey to go back to A66 and come all the way back down just for us to get 50 yard of it bridge. So we'd have lost an hour, so we weren't having that. So what we've decided, we're going to do it clockwise. So we've come up road here now, out to pull the bridge. And we're heading, I won't be able to see them now, like, but we're heading firstly up uh, up this road and up onto Arthur's Pike and Bonscale Pike, and then dropping down the other side up onto Allenfell. We've still got something like nine or ten miles to do that way, but it just means we've got a longer day tomorrow. So what we've decided tomorrow, whatever time we get down into Pooley Bridge, probably be early afternoon, late afternoonish or whatever. We'll be having some tea down at uh, one at pubs down in Pooley Bridge, having a bit and a relax, maybe a pint or two, and then we'll be heading into Martindale and camping up. Plan here for tomorrow, for tomorrow night still on. But like I said, we're into Martindale, parking at Martindale and then going up uh, Pikawasa or Steel Knot. So, just taking two minutes here. Cracking view down over Hull's Water there. <laughs>
right, so here we are, top of Allen Fell. Here's Obelisk Tower. Looking down over those water that way. Back down to Pooley Bridge. And obviously it carries on round there and Glenridden and Pattendale, Pattendale and everything's all down that way. Dan's just grabbing a cash over there. And another Dan, another one at Lance that comes out down again. Dan Bullock, he's, he's coming with us, he's just down here. I think we're going to pitch down here just out of because it is a bit windy up top here, so... Just down there, I think. So it's about 7 o'clock now, I think some sets do about 25 past 7, I think, but... It's quite cloudy, so I don't think we're going to get one, really. Might get some nice colour in clouds over there, though, we'll see in a bit. It's time to get 10 pitches on that. Six. I put my alarm up for six o'clock because uh, weather forecast for today and this morning's it's forecast is to be clear. It's looking like a good sky over here this morning, so we should get a nice sunrise. I slept well, went to bed about uh, midnight somewhere around here. I do apologise for the lack of interaction last night when we got here. But we're meeting other down here. Once we got pitched up and everything, we had a few drinks and had us tea and just we were just calling on eating them. I think we must have had about three hours chatting away and doing any any talking to the camera just totally slipped my mind. So I do apologise. Got my first coffee on. In a grand morning. So it's looking a grand sky over there. So yeah, we're uh, we're not going to be setting off too late this morning. I think plan is just to get going for about nine o'clock. So we've got about 14 miles to do today. Obviously, as you know, with all that going off down at Polar Beach, but we were unaware of it. It, uh, it put us back quite a few hours. We were going to have to wait for a bus, and it was an eight hour drive, and it was, it was just now. So we decided to do it clockwise. So today we'll be dropping down off Allen Fell, carrying on right up into Patterdale, coming round top side, down right hand side. It's all low level, so we should be able to get to some miles in pretty quick. And then up, up, we'll be going up past there to force up through woods which over there. And up onto Galbarra. And obviously back down into Pooley Bridge, but then we've still got that uh, bus situation. All that just to get 50 yards over that bridge. And once, once we get down there, we need to find out what crack is with that bus. To get back down into Pooley Bridge to the car. Have some tea probably in Polar Bridge now, but look on it in a pub, a pub meal or something. And then short drive up to Martindale tomorrow night and then camp camp on uh, Steel Knots by Kawasa that's over there, which will be my 100th Wayne right. So I'm looking forward to that. I say it's forecast a nice clear day tonight, uh, tonight, today. Nice nice forecast, a nice clear forecast for today. So we should be on for a, a nice day, some good walking. It's meant to be clear tonight as well, so I hope that stays true. It's quite nippy this morning as well, the temperatures are dropping now, my throat eating in the morning and that. I'm going to get this coffee and uh, get some breakfast on. 
bit of the clean up, change my undies and uh, hopefully I'll try and get some uh, time lapses going and catch this sun coming up. Right, that's it, we're all packed up. I don't know what time it is, I ain't checked. Nice little spot that. Dan's, Dan Bullock, he's heading off back down to the car, in, uh, just in Martindale down here, and me and other Dan are carrying up walk. About 14 miles we've got to do today, so we better get moving. A bit of a little bit of an update as you can see I'm on my sen I've had to well I've left Dan I have and I haven't he got to uh, he's, he's really struggling with his feet we've got three miles in this morning and he's slowed right down his feet uh, he's in a bit of a bad way with his feet he's put it down to coming off a smart fell yesterday really steep descent off there yesterday give me a bit of jipping my knees on that but he's struggling with his feet this morning and he's, he's slowed right down so got to a point where we got to uh, uh, Silver Point up here and he, he says look mate, he says you'll get your sin off and I can tab on a lot quicker than what he can like so what he's going to do is he's going to take his time and I'll take my time off this cattle with it so he's going to take his time, get to Glenridding I'm just at top end now, top end of Oldswater and I'll be Patterdale's just here, walking down into Glenridding. So he's going to take his time, get to Glenridding, and he's going to catch boat back down to Pooley Bridge. And I'm going to meet him there, that way he can take his time and chill out then. Because otherwise, I don't know where we're going to get it done. It's like I said, we're going up Steel Knots tonight, Steel Knot tonight. Uh, so we need, we need to be back in Pooley Bridge at a decent time. We're going to get a pub lunch, I think. And then we need to be back at a decent time in Martindale to get up on the air before sunset. So that's what he's going to do and I'll meet him there. And I'm going to carry on. It's a lot lower level now down, down through Glenridding. Down outside at Watter, a bit of road walking. And up through uh, Air Force Woods, up past Air Force Waterfall. Lovely up through there. Up over Galbarry, down the other side. And uh, down to Pooley Bridge. It's about 15 miles now, so we're about 9, 9 10 miles to do. So we'll keep going. Stunning day.
here we are, this is uh, Galbarra Fell. Galbarra, Galbarra, however it's pronounced. And I'm glad of this wind up here, this breeze. Oof. Come out, come out at the bottom from Herder Force and up past High Force and then Alt Lee side coming up here. No wind, not, not, a, not a breath of a breeze. And it was quite muggy and there was no air coming up. That was a tough climb, that. Just gasping for air coming up. There's a lovely bleak breeze up here. So I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have 10 or 15 minutes here, get some water on, have a bite to eat. I think it's, uh, it's 10 to 2 now. I left down at about 8 11. So two and a half hours ish just under. So I've made good tracks to get to here. I think it's about, I'm at about 17 mile now. So just just well you can see where I've got to go. That's top of Hull's water back down here. Holy Bridge is just up at the other end, so I've about what five miles to do, something like that. And it's all downhill anyway now, so we should be alright. Oh my heck. It's a lovely day. Hopefully by the time I get back to Poly Bridge. Down on the cart boat, back to Poly Bridge from Glenridge. Meet up, see what crack is we're getting back across that bridge. We met a guy this morning, come up on Allen Fell and he was telling us that there should have been a, a little footbridge across that they've put across to let folk across. So hopefully he lives in area like and he says this bridge should be there, so hopefully we can get across and not have to faff about catching that bus all the way around because that's about an hour's worth of heart at way. So like I've been saying, pub lunch down there, back to Martindale Park up Mendel Way, Steel Knot, Pike of Wasser tonight is my hundredth Wainwright. So this is number 99 and that'll be my hundredth, camping on hundredth Wainwright today. I'm looking forward to that. A few drinks as well, celebrate. Yeah, so I'm going to get some water now and a bite to eat. Take these views in. Bridge. We can't get into Polar Bridge because Juffin Footbridge is closed off still. So we're now waiting for this bus that's it's about nearly four o'clock now. There's one due at 11 minutes past to take us about half an hour right round there just to get 50 yard down there. It's a joke. So, oh, look who's here, look. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's been all right, that. I think I've done about 15 mile here actually. Gonna, uh, like I say, I'll get, get this bus back round to there, have a pub lunch, chuck his gear in the car and uh, get to Martindale, sort his gear out again then, and then get up uh, Steel Knot, like a wasse, what to eat, and then uh, enjoy a nice steady one to eat with a few drinks. So, uh, if off, off licence is open. We'll go there first. So, if I don't see you then, I shall see you back round there, which will be literally in a bit. Sign off for now. Right, then here we are, we're back at Martindale. All pub rubbed up, nice uh, horseshoe gammon steak, chips and pies there, and a nice pint of strong board dark fruit cider on down the street. It's about quite a past six now. Like I say, we're just going to walk that road here. On the top of the uh, steel knot, hopefully, cast the sunset. We'll see you over here. Ah, 
summit of Paikiwasa, or Steel Knot. A little bit late for sun going down, but that A7 now, but look at that colour in them clouds, absolutely amazing, stunning. And there's some absolutely uh, amazing noctilucent cloud over here. I've just been educating Dan about clouds. Uh, it's time to get tent up and get a, get a drink on. I'm ready for a drink, celebratory drink. As I was saying, this is my 100th Wainwright. I'll fetch you back in a bit. So we're set up now. Got tents up. As you can see, it's gone quite uh, dark now. Not got my tart and everything yet. Just chucked everything in for now. But yeah, Wayne Wright 100. Cheers. We're having a few drinks. Taking views in, watching this nice sky. Still a bit of light left yet. Cheers. from Paikawasa or Steel Knots. It's a lovely morning. There's not a breath of wind, although when we got up here last night either, it's been a nice calm night. But, uh, a bit of astral art last night, quite a few stars. I didn't get much done though. I enjoyed a few drinks. I think I got a couple of decent photos with uh, tents lit up. So that comes out all right and I've done all week. I probably should listen to for now. It's a lovely morning, it's about half eight now. We set a line for six and got up at six. But when I come out, it was quite clouded over like. It's only sort to come like this from about seven ish or something like that. It's a lovely morning up here now. It's been a fantastic three days all in all, really. 
cracking weather doing it all's walked away. I was just intent getting a coffee on. Stunning views from up here. Don't have to be on a big one for these nice views. Some of these small ones have got uh, just as nice of views. to Y Street and that and the knot. Belville and all that lot all over there. This is Bedefell here. This place fell up on top up there. Of course all that's looking down all those water. Lancaster and Skidar and that over there. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Finishing his coffee off and uh, starting making a bit of headway and packing up. Get off down, it's only a short walk back down into Martindale where the car is. There, that's it, we're packed up, just about ready for off. Just need to chuck bags up back. It's 20 past nine, we've had a nice uh, steady morning, a nice chilled out morning, a nice steady pack away. Lovely now this morning. You can see one last look of that. Cracking spot up here, Pikeawasa, steel knots if anybody fancies doing it. It's only about a mile and well it's not even a mile and a half from Martindale down there. But basically Martindale's just down here. You walk along this road and up a track here and then just double back on your said. And I was walking at most for this. Stunning. So yeah, we'll chuck bags up back now and we'll get off. So as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye from him. And I'll see you on the next one.